So the question tonight, can Trump win the Hispanic vote? Especially after offending so many with his comments about immigrants and deportation. Our Grace White explains the role Texas could play in electing the next president. Gathered round these tables, there's always fresh salsa, sizzling fajitas, and if you listen closely, there's a huge sense of anxiety in the air. Political conversations. At this popular spot in Southeast Houston, there's a sense that this year, things could change. There is a big, big opportunity for Texas to turn blue this election. Donald Trump's deport them all talk really is fueling hard. the fire. He says that he's going to pivot, but when are you going to pivot? You know, how much damage are you going to do before you pivot? Well, they thought Texas was going to turn blue in 2014. But Hispanic Republicans say it didn't happen. We still carry the message of personal liberty, uh, personal freedoms, entrepreneurship, uh, limited government. Their biggest job this year, making sure Latino voters turned away by Trump don't stay home. And I think he does have enough time now that he's the presumptive nominee or he's going to be the nominee uh, that he can actually pivot, uh, make some changes in his rhetoric and win some back some of those hearts that he's lost. <laughs> While Trump tries to win back Hispanics, grassroots organizers at this mom and pop say they're trying to win them over too. We have been focusing on a lot of the millennial and young Latino voters because they really do have a voice in this election and we see that they're becoming much more engaged. And here's why Houston matters. Harris County has the second largest Hispanic population in the nation, and it's growing. This is what the electoral map looked like in 2012. Texas was red, but if it turns blue, it would make the path to the White House a lot easier for Democrats. Grace White, KHOU 11 News.